Hi, this is Michael from TeensTech.com. I'm doing a quick review on Any.do, or in other words, Anydo, which is a new uh, Android task manager slash to-do list, uh, only on Android today, but it, I think it's the best available. And here, I'll give you a little quick tour. So you start off with this very clean UI that pretty much reminds me of a Windows phone, almost. It's, I think it's the best UI of any Android app created as of now. You can, As you can see, there's uh, today, tomorrow, this week, later. These are all different categories uh, uh, where each of your tasks are put into. So let's say I want to make a new task. All I have to do is start typing in something. So let's say my new task is to uh, buy milk. See, uh, right before I even say buy milk, right, all I'll do is type in buy and the milk shows up as an option. So this predictive text, much like Google suggests. So I press buy milk, and I say add buy milk, and it's now added to today, along with my other list. Now, let's say I say actually I want it to be tomorrow. All I do is hold down and drag it to tomorrow. And now I have things I want to do today, things I want to do tomorrow. Now I can also move it out to this week and later. I can also hold down I'm oh, sorry, I can also press it and it gives me even more options, such as priority, folder, reminder, notes, and share. So with priority, all I do is click that and I can see it makes a little red color on the side, which pretty much tries to make uh, the uh, reader and the viewer to kind of, it hits their eye a little more easily. So it's more a priority type thing so that you catch it more. Um, you can also set a reminder, let's say I want to t remind me on Tuesday uh, at 10 a.m. to do this. And I did that, I just press back, and it will remind me to buy milk on Tuesday now. I can also make add a few notes, let's say I want to add even more groceries I want it to do, and they'll go right in. And I can also uh, share it with other people, which I find very cool, it allows you to edit the note and complete it with someone else. Um, and and that, that's pretty cool. It's one of the only apps that allow you to do that. Um, you also get landscape view, such as this. Uh, I don't like it as much, but... Uh, and everything's gesture-based, which means, let's say I... Uh, you guys, you can see there's a line right there, right? That means that I have completed a review of any do. To say you completed something, all you do is say, say make video review of any dot do. All I do is draw a line through it. And you see how it moved down with the line through it now. Now you can see I have two uh, things that I've completed. But they're still there. And I want to get rid of all these completed tasks. So to clean up the inbox, pretty much, I can either just press X and it goes away. Or I shake the phone a lot and it says, clean up your finished tasks. And I say yes, and everything I've finished goes away. So I think it's the one gimmicky, uh, one gesture that's not gimmicky. I've never seen a shake gesture that's not gimmicky, and here we go. Um, you can also do voice input, which I find to be very cool. Because uh, usually apps allow this, but this is really integrated, and it's not just a keyboard uh, voice input. It's actually a button right there. So all you do is click that and say, buy cookies. And there you go, all you say is buy, add, buy cookies. And there, it's right there. Um, I'll swipe that off. And press X, and it's gone. Um, you can also uh, set sort the list by date, by folder, by priority. Um, so say by priority, everything that is red will be on top. While there's no rush things, as they state. Uh, and you can also change the theme, um, so I can make it black, which, which I, seem to, I think is really cool on AMOLED devices, such as the Galaxy Nexus, or the Galaxy S2, or the Razer, things that really show the clear black display. Um, so you can see it's, pretty much, it's the same UI, just white text and black background. Um, uh, you can also set the day, you can allow for shaking, and it can also back up to, t to uh, Google Tasks, and it syncs with Google Tasks. Uh, the company has stated that they will um, allow backup with other companies, such as uh, Evernote, 
and uh, scratch pad and spring pad, all these applications, they'll add integration. Um, you can also set backups. Uh, so I have a backup automatically, obviously backup now, and this just backs up onto the SD card. I can always restore to any other day in case uh, some kid runs around or some guy just and deletes your stuff. It's just a safe side of things. Um, you can set sounds, uh, just notification sounds. And um, lastly, the company has made some pretty cool widgets. And you can see right here, here's one of the widgets. Uh, here we go. I can focus in. Please. Uh, you can see here. Okay, that's not working. Um, you can see there's a widget right there. And this is the uh, 2 by one or 4 by one widget, which is uh, more space conscious. You can see right there it says, Today, buy headphone buds. And also, do physics lab. So it kind of scrolls through everything you have to do. If I want to add something, all I do is click, and it'll let me type it in. Or I can click this head speaker thing, a microphone, and I'll bring up a microphone. I find that to be very cool, and it really allows for such a minimal uh, widget to do so much. So to the right, I have this. This is a classic widget, where it says high priority because I have I had it the only priority email, only priority uh, tasks. You see right there. It's pretty much the same thing here, but this one shows it all at the same time. So I prefer this one better. It'll say see all, and it'll show you everything. Um, and yeah, this is uh, any dot do or any do. I find it to be a very cool application. It's also from the creator of Taskos, and the company created any do created this company this application Taskos on Android, which was a kind of tester before they released this app to see what people really wanted. And I think that this is what everybody wants. It's missing a few key features like location based and time based uh, tasks or picture and camera based tasks too, or video based tasks. So I think it has very bare bones, but I think that the company has stated they're gonna get into these new realms of tasks, and I think that they will do it well. They also stated that they're making an iPhone app soon, and also a web app for Chrome or Internet Explorer or any other browser. So you'll have your tasks everywhere you go. Um, and they also do not have a tablet application right now. You're unable to install any dot do on an Android tablet or Honeycomb tablet. Um, so this is uh, any.2. Visit my website, teenstech.com, and uh, subscribe, of course, and watch our next video. Thanks.